All right, so in this video, we'll look at one more data type in TypeScript, which is called as tuple. Now, before we start with tuple, let us understand why do we require tuple. So imagine there's an entity employee and we have to store the name of the employee and the employee ID. How can we do that? So we can simply create two variables. Let's say that employee name of type string, all right, and this is the value. Let employee ID, which is of type number, and then it is going to store that numeric value, right? Now, the other way possible is you can say you can create arrays, right? And if we have to store, you know, different data types in an array, I have to make it either of type any or use union type, right? So we know of these two ways. However, there are limitations, right? Because like this, you have to create two variables and you have to manage these variables, right? So this is definitely better than this, okay? Because you just create one variable and you add these values and you also have the control, like, you know, if you could just say this can only accept string and numbers right so you can restrict it right but the problem with this approach is like this okay so you could say that somebody could now go and update it at the first index okay now they can enter in the numeric value all right and at the second place they can have the string value and guys when i'm saying first place all right so basically this is index zero and this is index one all right so we know that part right now the thing is, you know, what I want is that the first place, okay, should always hold the string value and the second place should always hold the numeric value. And once I define it to be like that, I mean, they should not change. So at index zero, right, I can allow to store only string and at index one, I allow to store only numeric values. Now, tuple allows you to express an array with a fixed number of elements whose types are known, need not to be same. And also, once you define a particular index to be a specific type, you can't change it. Okay. And tuples can also be passed as parameter to the function. All right. So, how do we define tuples? It's very simple. Let us comment this out. Okay. And we just say let EMP. Okay. It's a tuple. All right. The way you define is you use these square brackets and inside that you start defining, right, the data type. So index zero should be of type string and index one should be of type number. Okay. Like that. And then you can define the values okay so let's try that so i say one two three four okay like that it's not allowed okay so you see you hover over this type number is not assignable to type string right so you just have to pass in a string value okay now it is still complaining why because it requires two and i'm only passing in one Okay, so it's smart enough to recognize that hey, I need to pass in the number value as well. Okay, so I just now say uh, in here if I pass in any other value of type, let's say boolean, right? So not assignable to type number. So I have to pass in the numeric values. Okay, it is now log it to the console. Okay, and we say emp. Okay, we go in here, we check that. And, and this looks like you know this looks like an array only okay great and kindly also note that you can also use push pop destructuring etc in that sense tuples are just like arrays okay so we go to the console right so we see john and one two three four okay and you could see under underscore proto array all right so they are like arrays so you can use all those methods okay that's about tuples in typescript i'll see you in the next video thank you so much